Let's talk about thinning your crops. When we plant beets or Swiss chard or anything from seed, most of the time we're planting multiple seeds in one area to guarantee ourselves a germination. But once those seeds emerge, then we need to thin them out in order to allow one plant to grow and produce as we want them to. This is the case with our radishes. Now I've covered this with chicken wire to prevent the birds and other animals from getting in here. These radishes here were old seed and I planted multiple seeds per uh, spacing in order to get a germination. And fortunately or unfortunately, they all germinate. So I know that pack of old seeds is very good. So now we have to thin these out. Otherwise, we're not going to get any bulbing of the radishes at all. So instead of going in here and pulling each individual plant out until we have one left in that area, we want to cut because if we just pull them out, we're going to tear the roots and disrupt the plants that we're trying to keep by removing all the other ones. This holds true to beets. This holds true to everything. Get a pair of uh, fingernail snippers, get a pair of scissors, and all we want to do is just go in here and snip out everything except for the one that we're wanting to keep. Now, these are basically microgreens. You can eat these. That's not a uh, bad thing to do. And you just take your scissors and be very gentle. Decide which one you're going to keep. And see, I've still got two there. So I'm going to remove that. And now that will grow and actually produce a radish. The root systems in the adjacent plants that we remove, they'll die away so it won't inhibit the growth of the bulb of that. Now, if we're growing zucchini and we have three or four or five zucchini in one area, we want to do the same because we want to focus the energy of one plant in that grow area because otherwise they will compete and they will not do well. Thanks for watching. I'm Joy Barrett. This has been First Garden, New Gardener. As always, rate, subscribe, and comment. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.